As assistants, we feel the pressure of anxiety every day in one form or another. Our anxiety can come from having to manage multiple leaders to working on difficult projects, to managing large events for our executives, where we're ultimately held accountable for the success or failure of the event. So let's take a look how we can find opportunities to combat the anxious achievers that we all are. Hey guys, this is Cherie from The Exceptional Assistant and my channel is all about the day-to-day -day responsibilities and scenarios of the professional assistant. So whether you're an executive assistant today looking for new tips and tricks or you're new to the administrative role, this channel will be a great source of information for you. I've worked for executive level leaders within the largest corporations in America from the gaming industry, the banking industry, and the movie entertainment industry. And this is my platform to share what I know. Now let's get to the video. Anxiety can come from so many different places, but how we manage those as assistants is key to help us alleviate the feelings of not being good enough, of not performing well enough, and not knowing enough. And while we're at it, let's go ahead and throw in social anxiety, which makes me understand why people hide in the bathroom. Combating anxiety, you first have to trace your anxiety to the source, meaning what is it that scares you or puts you on edge? For many assistants, it's the ability to speak openly in a room full of executives that have the most elite educations, and that can be incredibly terrifying, but not if you come prepared. Review and study to include multiple drive runs of what you need to cover in the meeting. This way, when it's your time to speak in the meeting, you're on point to deliver a well thought out and well communicated piece. What to do when you spot the signs of anxiety. For me personally, it's when I'm asked to do a task that I don't know how to do. And at that moment, I hit a brick wall, which gives me a lot of anxiety. But I'm also very quick to pull in my resources. If you don't know how to do something, do something about it. Don't get caught in the same situation a second time. If you don't know how to do something, learn it, either on your own or with the help of your manner, because it's the only way you're gonna get past this kind of situation. Anxiety triggers can change every day from what's happening in your office environment to personal situations that come with you to the office to the world that we live in today. We are battling so many different things. Sometimes we don't always recognize when someone is having an anxiety moment and we call it out as irritability. Sometimes a coworker may just need a quick, how are you doing or do you need any help? And that may be just enough to get a conversation rolling of where the anxiety is and where you can maybe jump in and help. And let me remind you that many corporations, if not all of them today, offer an employee assistance program where they have many resources and the ability to put you in touch with someone who can speak to you if that's the path that you need. Take advantage of the benefit and resources they offer you. I'm going to end by saying no one knows you better than you. Take time to understand where the anxiety is, why it's there, and how you're going to overcome it because there's always a resolution. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, it doesn't cost you anything to subscribe, and if you have a great tip to share, leave it in the comments. Thanks everybody for watching. Take care.